Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Configuring Service Entitlements. In the last video, we looked at how to organize the vCloud Automation Center service catalog. In order for users to access catalog items or perform actions against the resources that have been provisioned, the administrator needs to entitle users or groups of users access to specific service categories, catalog items, and action commands. First, we are going to give you an overview of service entitlements and the relationship to the self-service portal, as well as discuss who can configure and manage these policies. Then we will look at configuring service entitlements for different catalog objects and commands. Entitlements determine which users or groups of users can request catalog items or perform specific actions. Business group managers can configure entitlements for their group and tenant admins can configure entitlements for all business groups. Approvals can also be specified as part of an entitlement, but that subject will be covered in another video. If the admin entitles an individual or group of users to a service category, then they are automatically entitled to all the catalog items that belong to that category. On the Administrators tab, select the Catalog Management menu option. Catalog management has four functions. In this video, we are only covering entitlements. Click on entitlements to start the configuration process. The entitlements management function allows the administrator to add new entitlements by clicking the green plus sign. For our demo, we are going to edit the NEF dev entitlement, which is partially configured in a draft state in order to help accelerate the demo process. This entitlement already has a name and a description. It has been associated with the NEFDEV business group and all the users in the NEFDEV group are included in the entitlement. Entitlements could be made for individual users or a subset of the users in the business group. After completing the detailed info, click the next button at the bottom of the dialog box. This will advance to the items and approvals tab. For our first example, we are going to entitle the NEFDEV group to the Development Infrastructure Service category. After selecting the appropriate category, click Update to save. After completing this change, I'm going to log out as the Cloud Admin and log in as NEFDEV user so that you can see the effect of the service entitlement changes. We will now log in as NEFDEV user. You can see that the user is entitled to the Development Infrastructure Service category and all the catalog items that are in that category. Since there's only one service category, the user does not see the service category tabs. Next, we will look at entitling catalog items. If the admin entitles an individual user or group of users to a specific catalog item, then the user only sees that item in the service category in their catalog. Other catalog items in the service category need to be entitled one at a time. In this example, instead of entitling the entire service category, we are going to entitle specific catalog items within a category. To start this process, click the green plus sign next to the entitled catalog items. You then will be presented with a list of catalog items. This list can be filtered by service category, type, and name. We are going to filter by service category to narrow the list to just the infrastructure items. After filtering the list of catalog items, select one or more items from the list. For our example, we will select the Inventory Manager catalog item. Click OK to finalize the selection and then Update to save changes. Next, we will log back in to see the changes to the NEFDEV user's catalog. Now the only catalog item he can access in the Development Infrastructure Service category is the Inventory Manager item. Group entitlements can be combined with individual user entitlements. In this example, Mary, highlighted in green, is a member of the blue group and as such has been entitled to the blue catalog items in the development infrastructure category. An additional entitlement also provides her access to the shop manager catalog item highlighted in green. This item cannot be seen by other members of the blue group. Creating individual user entitlements is the same as creating group entitlements. We're going to skip that due to time limitations. We have shown how to set up entitlements for service categories and catalog items. 
Next, let's look at configuring action entitlements, which determine which users or groups of users can perform specific actions against provisioned items like applications, infrastructure, or other IT services. Unless actions are specifically entitled, the user will not be allowed to perform ongoing day two operations. The Items tab contains the applications and resources or items that are owned by each user. Actions are the commands that can be executed against those items. Action entitlements control what actions each user is allowed to perform against their items. Although action entitlements are managed on the same page as service category and catalog item entitlements, there's not a one-to-one -one relationship between action entitlements and other types of entitlements. Action entitlements apply to all the items provisioned by those users or groups of users. There is, however, a relationship between the actions specified in the catalog items blueprint and the action entitlements. Let's explore this in a bit more detail. For actions to be accessible, they must first be enabled on the blueprint. Then the group or user must be entitled to perform those specific actions. The actions accessible by the group or the user through the self-service portal will be a combination of which actions were enabled on the blueprint and then entitled. Let's look at how to configure some action entitlements. To demonstrate how action entitlements are configured, we're going to edit the NEF dev entitlement we created previously to add action entitlements. The NEF dev group is currently entitled to the catalog items in the applications and infrastructure service categories, but has no action entitlements. I'm going to add some actions to this entitlement by clicking the entitled resource actions plus sign. The Add Resource Action dialog box allows the admin to select one or more actions that will be associated with the entitlement. The list of actions can be filtered by the type of resource that they will be performed against. For example, the actions that are possible differ between virtual, physical, and cloud machines. In our example, the catalog items in the development infrastructure contain all of these machine types, so I'm going to filter the list to just machine actions that are common across all machine types. and then select all the machine actions and click OK. All of the selected items have now been added to the NEF dev group entitlement. Click the update button to save changes. With our action entitlements configured, let's see the, how they apply to multiple blueprints. Actions must be enabled for each unique service blueprint. However, action entitlements only need to be specified once per user or group of users. See how action entitlements, when combined with blueprint actions, can be used to provide different action capabilities for Linux and Windows servers. The group entitlements shown here can be combined with specific user entitlements to allow fine-grained control over what actions each user is allowed to perform on specific applications or resources. Mary, highlighted in green, is entitled to all the actions of the blue group. We can also entitle Mary to specific actions. The actions accessible to Mary will be a combination of the blue group's entitlement as well as Mary's individual entitlement. This completes our vis video on entitlements. Next we will look at how approvals can be associated with entitlements. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative, and to learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.